Match boy, not fun to be stuck out in the middle of this mess. I posted on Facebook and said, hey, does anyone know anyone who's stuck out there? And Shannon responded and said, my husband Brad is stuck in a ditch off 122nd by I-35. Waiting for help. Yeah, okay, let's see if he got any. Okay, Brad is on the phone with us right now. Brad, we never thought we'd be talking to you this morning on News 9 Live, but how you doing, buddy? Oh, I'm, I'm doing all right. Um, I was headed home from work over over there by Frontier City, and and uh, I was on the service road, and I came up there to get gas at the at the love station, and I turned down because I heard one of my coworkers say that uh, they they came up 122nd. I guess I misunderstood, but so I, I got some gas at that love station, and I turned down 122nd, went down through the Dutch Forest uh, uh, a neighborhood in a lot of these steep hills, and I guess I didn't have enough forward momentum, and I didn't make it up the hill. And I slid back down the hill and into the ditch. Oh man! So what did you do? Uh, <laughs> I, I, I called my wife and and she she uh, we were both you know she didn't know what to do and and um, uh, I was trying to figure out if I had roadside assistance but I imagine they would probably get stuck too. So uh, there's like there's like four uh, four other vehicles in front of me. They're off in the ditch too. So there's like five of us stuck here in the ditch. So you're just kind of waiting it out, Brad? Yeah. Um, because <laughs> I, I, I thought anybody that you know they would come to come to try to help us, they you know they'd get stuck too. So, um, well, apparently it's, it's nothing but a sheet of a sheet of ice what? out there. Yeah, you you called your wife for help, <laughs> and she went and <laughs> yeah. posted on Robin's Facebook page. <laughs> <laughs> so she's trying any way hey, she can. <laughs> hey, if I can help, hey, if anyone can help Brad out <laughs> over off 122nd, kind of by the loves, he's in his pickup truck. But there's he's got a couple of buddies. It sounds like out there. Hey, Brad, thanks for just uh, uh, talking to us. You're doing okay, though, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. Is your truck on? Are you in the warmth, or have you turned it off? Or yeah, you... yeah, yeah, yeah. My truck's running. Uh, luckily, I got some gas. Uh, but uh, like I said, there's like there's like four other vehicles that are that are off in the ditch, and, it, and it's, it, there, there's not a dry spot on the pavement. It's just it's nothing but just a, just a sheet of ice. Yeah. Well, David Payne is with us this morning. He said it is going to warm up, so you might be there for just a little while, but I do think uh, that it is going to warm up. So, uh, hey, thanks for talking with us this morning, and uh, keep me posted on uh, when you get out of the ditch and get on your way, okay? Okay, you're welcome. Thanks for uh, talking to us, Brad, and kind of letting us just have some levity here. We appreciate you, sir. Oh, you're, you're, you're more than welcome, ma'am. Glad All you're right. okay. Thanks, friend. We appreciate it very much. You know, as you watch, you just see there's been cars even along the side of the road there. Mm -hmm. This is I-35 right by Frontier City. We're heading northbound. We are watching the roads for you. You are live right here on News 9 this morning. Buckle up, drive safely if you have to get out.